yeah, unboxing done. And uh, the first thing I want to address is a major issue for me on version two, and that was looks. Because for me, I couldn't get over that one simple fact that it was too big in its form. It was, it was pretty bulky to say the least and irrelevant to what it provided me in terms of uh, statistics and performance in terms of the watch. I just couldn't get over that. And in version three, it's a massive, massive improvement. But that's it, how it looks. How does it perform? And how's it gonna make me a better golfer? Right, first data-led fact. Yeah, that's not a bad uh, effort. Plenty of data collected from ShotScope over the years, and one thing it's shown is how much more consistent average golfers are in terms of performance when using putter from the fringe than they are using lob wedge. Fact. Now, how many of you, like me, thought that taking three wood off the tee as opposed to driver was a safer option? Not according to ShotScope. The numbers have shown, again, with the, delated, the data that they have collected, is there is very little difference in accuracy off the tee using three wood as opposed to driver by average golfers. Another fact. I'll take some cover just to uh, discuss a bit more about this watch. It wasn't the day I expected in terms of weather, but anyway, the watch is still working fine. I want to talk about a few things really. Uh, starting off with simplicity of use in terms of straight out the box, as you've seen, you get a uh, charger and you get all your little uh, nubbins to attach. I think 16 of them. So a couple spare there to attach to every single club in the bag and then two others. And basically it is very easy to pair, very easy to, uh, you download a, uh, an app, the ShotScope app. That's for syncing afterwards, after your round, for when you're doing the GPS and tracking, because there's an option for both in terms of the watches. You can have GPS and track, or you can just have the GPS, which will just provide you the yardages but very, very simplistic to use. And that's something that I think is really important. I've used a lot of devices which are a bit fiddly, lots of menus to go through before you get the information that you want. And like I said, I started using this off, first of all, as GPS only. And you literally switch it on, normal stuff, find the satellite, find the course, and you're good to go. Very easy to switch behind if you decide to play the back nine as opposed to the front. It's very easy to navigate through and get to the hole you want. Flicking through, you've got your basic yardages, front, middle and back, but then it also identifies um, hazards as well, yardages to hazards, which is just by flicking to another screen. Full colour display, really bright, really bold. Again, I've played it in some bright sunlight, not quite today, but yeah, it's really uh, visible display, which I really like. In terms of wearing it, again, with version 2 and with other watches, I'm a bit conscious of having them on because it's something that I just don't like. They get in the way a little bit and, I, you know, I've honestly this I wore it for the first uh, time and I forgot to switch it on I forgot I had it on and it was three holes in I was playing golf with my dad and I said you know what I said that's actually a real positive because I've just realized that a I forgot to put the watch on which wasn't great but b that I didn't realize I had it on and I'd already played three or four holes so again it doesn't impede on your swing it doesn't intrude on anything and it's very very lightweight uh, and yeah another big tick for me so in terms of what it does, it provides something that we all need. We all like those yardages. It, it provides it in a very simple and straightforward way and a real cost-effective option as well because they're coming in, I think, if you buy the product before the end of July, I'm told that it's 180 quid, 179.99. If you buy after that, it's going up to 205 pounds. That's a real good buy, you know. So finally, the data that is collected and how it can help you save shots from your game. And would you believe people who use ShotScope on average have reduced their handicap by 2.7 shots. So that's like, forget buying new driver, new putter, new irons, whatever. That is the most impressive piece of data that I have heard. And it's, it's interesting. And the way in which I assume that works is quite simply by analyzing what kind of, um, analyzing your data and um, highlighting weaknesses within your game, because that's what it's really good at. Um, so for example, like your driving stats, forget about distances, it's where you're missing in terms of percentages, how many are left, how many are right, how many are down the center. Uh, in terms of your short game, exactly the same kind of information. Are you coming up short a lot? which I would imagine is an issue with quite a lot of us. So it really starts to highlight where your game is, is, is weak. 
And then I think by working alongside any coach you may have, um, providing that information to your coach really gives them some great information as well to highlight what those issues are, which again, I think is, uh, it, it's, you know, I mean, it's common sense, I suppose, but to get all that data and to be able to access it very quickly and very simply post round, because all you simply do is switch on your app, have your phone alongside, you press connect and the information is transferred and then you're able to start analyzing that data. And like I said, it's, uh, it's plentiful and uh, it's easy to access, which is a fantastic thing. I mean, for me on a personal level, I don't know whether I spend enough time sort of uh, analyzing my own data and looking at those kind of things, but for me, I think the GPS part is, is something that I, I really like because of how simplistic it is to use and how lightweight the watch is. So they're all the ticks of the boxes for me on a personal level. But if you really are into your game, if you want to make improvements, then I think it's a great piece of kit and it's a great piece of information that will no doubt, uh, like I said, 2.7 shot reduction on average. That's impressive data. That's me done. End of. It's a great little watch. Like I said, it's fantastic. It's uh, it's lightweight. It's easy to use. It's priced at the right kind of money. So if it's uh, if this is the kind of thing you're looking for right now, then uh, I'd give it a a good look because and buy it quickly because like I said, that price reduction between now and the end of July is uh, quite a hefty one. So uh, yeah, go and take a look. Anyway, as ever, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe if you don't already. Hit that like button and uh, comments down below. I always like to hear from people who watch, and I'll see you soon.